my residency rotation at Shriners Hospital in Philadelphia, where we treat kids who have uh, multiple congenital deformities. And my first research project was in kids who had club feet. So I did, a, I did research in kids who had club feet, and I was actually going to go into pediatric orthopedics and, um, and specialize in lower extremity um, pediatric you know, malformations and pathology. But I did not enjoy doing the spine. I, I was treating kids who had scoliosis, but that didn't motivate me as much as um, um, the foot and ankle. So I had a background in joint replacement, sports, and trauma. So I did a foot and ankle fellowship where after my residency, I spent a year just doing focused training, research teaching in the area of adult foot and ankle. Uh, trauma, reconstructive surgery, um, a little bit of pediatrics, um, sports related injuries, reconstruction, um, and um, so that's how I gravitated towards foot and ankle is actually through kids. It's challenging, it's diverse, it's, um, um, it's complex, it could be simple, um, and it, it, it crosses every level of medicine, um, <clears throat> whether it's the um, diabetic foot, um, the traumatized foot, um, different rheumatologic disorders, um, vascular disease, um, sports related injuries, reconstruction. Um, there are a lot of um, interesting and also there's a lot of research going on with foot and ankle um, procedures, orthobiologics, ankle replacements. So it's an area that is um, interesting but still expanding. You know, there are a lot of traditional things that we do. There are a lot of cutting edge things that we do. It's my favorite part of medicine actually um, isn't the surgical part. I enjoy the surgery, but it's the diagnostic part of medicine. It's the, uh, the, the challenging patient, the, um, the not so obvious diagnosis. It's the, the interaction and listening to a patient in their own way guide you to a diagnosis if you listen to them.